This video is going to explain the Boyamore horsepower algorithm and define the problem it attempts to solve. The problem is string matching, which is essentially matching a pattern with a text. So, given a pattern P of length N and a text T of length M, defined over an alphabet, sigma, find one or all occurrences of P in T. This problem is extremely useful for applications such as web searches, database queries and detecting plagiarism. The easiest way to solve this problem is with a naive or brute force algorithm. Start with the pattern or string. I'll use the word ant for this demonstration and find it in the text I am an antelope. To start this algori algorithm first line up the pattern with the text. You then start comparing letters one by one starting with the leftmost character. So, does A match with I? No. So shift the pattern along by one space. Does A match with A? Yes. So compare the next character. Does M match with N? No. So again, shift the pattern once along. This process is repeated until all characters in the pattern are matched with characters in the text. So let's analyse this algorithm. The worst case scenario will occur when the input text is an arbitrary length of A's followed by a single B and the pattern is an arbitrary length of A's followed by a B where the pattern is shorter than the text. The mismatch will occur n minus m times and it will be solved after n minus m plus 1 iterations. This is the amount of ways you can align the pattern against the text. The total amount of comparisons you make will be the amount of times you align the pattern with the text multiplied by the length of the pattern as all the A's will match but for the first n minus m times it fails when it reaches b <coughs> but all the characters in the pattern are compared. This gives the naive algorithm a time complexity of theta of n times m so quadratic time. Is the Boyer more horsepower algorithm, algorithm more efficient? The Boyer more horsepower algorithm works by first constructing a bad match table which we'll see later. The pattern is compared to the text like the naive algorithm, but the characters are compared starting from the rightmost character in the pattern instead of the leftmost. When a mismatch occurs, you shift the pattern to the right <coughs> corresponding to the value in the bad match table. For this example, we'll use the pattern tooth and the text trust hard toothbrushes. So, first we need to construct the bad match table. The value assigned to a letter in the alphabet is the length of the pattern minus the index of the letter in the pattern minus 1. Every other letter's value will be the length of the pattern. OK, in this example we're using the word tooth which has a length of 5 and the displayed indices. Let's start with the first character T. The value is the length 5 minus the index 0 minus 1, which is 4. The next character, O, has the value 5 minus 1 minus 1, so 3. As the next character is also an O, we work out its value, 5 minus 2 minus 1, which is 2, and replace the already stored value for, zip, for O. We do the same for the second T. The value 5 minus 3 minus 1 or 1 is stored instead of the previous value. The last letter is either given the length as its value, or if it has already been defined, keep the existing value. And of course, as mentioned earlier, every other letter, represented by a star, is given the length 5 as its value. Let's see this algorithm in, algorithm in action. Line up the pattern with the text and start comparing characters starting from the rightmost character in the pattern. So does H equal T? No, it doesn't. As the first character in the text that we compared is a T, we look up T in the bad match table. The value is 1, so we shift the pattern one space. This essentially aligns the T in the text with the T in the pattern. We now compare H with H. It matches. So we compare T with, with T, which matches. But O and S do not match. So we look up the value assigned to H in the table 
as H was the first character in the text that we looked at for this alignment. The value is 5, so we shift the pattern 5 spaces. Does H match with O? No. So we look up O in the table and shift the pattern 2 spaces. H doesn't match with T. So again we look up T in the table and move the pattern 1 space. The pattern is now aligned with the occurrence of itself in the text. Now, let's analyse this example. The worst case is actually the same as the naive example mentioned earlier and occurs when the input text is a string of ones and the pattern is a single zero followed by a string of ones where the pattern is shorter than the text. The algorithm will match all the ones then mis <coughs> mismatch with the zero and the value for 1 in the bad match table will be 1. So the process will be the same as the naive example, giving it a worst case time complexity of big O of n times m. The best case is a lot better than this, and occurs when the input text contains no characters from the pattern. The pattern will shift forward m spaces each time, so the time complexity will be an order of m divided by n. However, the average case is an order of m divided by the length of the alphabet, and in practice, this algorithm runs a lot faster than the naive example. Thanks for watching this video.